Hey guys, it's Tyus Tech back with another video. Today we're going to do something really cool. I'm going to show you how you can install Minecraft on any phone running iOS 15 or later. Well, iPhone running iOS 15 or later. Alright, so to get started, you're going to need an iPhone. Um, this can just be a regular old iPhone, doesn't really matter. And you're just going to go ahead and plug it into your computer. Click. It's going to pop up something that says trust. Just click the trust and then type in the password of the phone so that the computer can access the phone. Then, you're gonna, if you don't already have iTunes installed, uh, you can install iTunes. It's a little bit hard. I think you go to just search iTunes and click this link that says download and use iTunes for Windows 10. So if you go here, this little download button and it'll download um, iTunes for you. That's great. N the other thing you're gonna need for this, I don't know why I closed that, is you're gonna need to search alt store, all one word. Just type alt store. And it'll take us to the website altstore.io, or it'll show a link that says altstore.io, um, depending on what you do. So I got this thing that says altstore.io. So it's this cool little website or whatever. So I'm just going to explain. Altstore is basically an app store um, that uses that accesses your developer account, which is basically lets you test your own apps that you create, like on your phone or whatever. Um, but using other people's apps. So this is a it's called side loading. Um, this apps that Apple has not necessarily given um, people the ability to run on their phones because they usually do things that Apple doesn't really want you to do. So, it's called Side Loading for Everyone. You can read through this page if you want to learn about it. Um, but we're going to come down here to the bottom, I think. Yeah, here it is. Under the download section, it says Alt Server for Mac OS or Alt Server for Windows. I'm on Windows, obviously. So I'm going to click Download for Windows. I've already downloaded it. You're going to download that file. Um, if it's a zip file, extract it by right-clicking and clicking 7-zip, like this. Uh, you just go downloads, whatever. I'll just go right-click and then 7-zip and then click extract, even though this isn't like an extract thingy. Um, but then you'll have the file. It should be like um, installer.msi or something like that. Just run that and go through the setup, whatever, to install it, and you'll be good. Something else you're going to need is, uh, I think it's on this page, but I could be wrong, no. So what you need to do is run that uh, the alt store.exe thing that's going to be extracted as well and it should say something about not having iCloud um, and it think, I think it has a little blue text or whatever you click on that and it takes you to the download link for iCloud um, for Windows and install that or whatever and sign in with your Apple ID and get that all set up because you're going to need that too just to make sure do not download it from the Microsoft Store because then it won't work anyway once you've got that all set up um, and iCloud is installed, you're going to restart your computer because iCloud requires you to do that. And then under this little icon here, you can go up, show hidden icons. You'll have these two things. This is the iCloud one and this is the alt server one, um, which is your computer. You're going to want to sign into your Apple ID on the iCloud thing, get everything set up, and you're great. And then what you're going to want to do is we're going to go back to iTunes. So I'm just going to open iTunes here real quick with my phone plugged in. Um, we're going to wait for it to open for a second. All right, so now that that's finished, I'm going to go ahead and full screen so you can see better. And it's kind of got this thing, a bunch of different things about the iPhone, whatever, check for updates, software, yada, yada, yada. But what we're looking for is down here where it says options. we got these different things about automatically sync with this iPhone's connected. I'm actually going to uncheck that. And then we've got this option right here, sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. This is really important. You're going to need to check that box. Click check, click apply down here, and then click done. You're great. Now you can... Exit out of here if it'll let me. Good heavens. <laughs> so that's good. So now what we need to do is we're going to go back to the alt server. So now it's the fun part. So you're going to click on this. And it's going to, you've got these different options or whatever. I'm going to click alt, install alt store and then chicken 57's iPhone because that's this phone that I have plugged in. Um, I'm going to decide on my Apple ID, so I'll be right back. So basically, once you're done with that, uh, it'll have this little app on your phone called alt store. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I'm going to switch over to screen recording on my phone so that we can see better. All right, so here we are on my iPhone 8. Show you how to do this. So you're gonna go in here. It's gonna have this new app called Alt Store. It, you might have to like look for it or whatever, or search for it um, in series suggestions or whatever. But we're gonna go ahead and open the Alt Store. Um, it might ask you to sign in with the Apple ID or whatever, yada yada yada. But this is basically the side lending app. Once you're in, um, you can go through the different tabs here. It's got the news tab, which is a bunch of different apps or whatever. We got browse where you can look through all the apps. Um, but this is the section we want to go to. So go to browse. Click up here where it says sources, and then. Um, I already have it added, but you're going to add this thing called Pojav Launcher. So you're going to click the Add Source button or whatever, and it'll pop up here with a little check mark or whatever and say like it has been added or something like that. And then 
you should see this app right here, Podjob Launcher. Click on the little free icon. It says open for me because I've already downloaded it. Um, and it'll install whatever, yada, yada, yada. So you're good there. Now what you're going to need to go to is my apps, and you should see Podjob Launcher here. You're going to either uh, 3D touch or long press on it. And boom, we've got these little options. we got open, refresh, enable JIT, backup, deactivate. What we're looking for is enable JIT, which is like just in time. Uh, uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but it makes it so you can run it um, at the full speed. So we're going to click enable JIT, enable JIT, and it'll open the app with JIT. So let me go and close all sorts and close that. So now you're in the Pojov launcher for iOS. Um, so you can look through here, yada, yada, yada. This will tell you a bunch of different things about it. You can go in here where you can change the settings, custom controls or this install.jar thing, that's where you can install stuff like Optifine, which I have installed. Um, so once you're done with that, um, it says down here at the bottom kind of where you have um, different things you have installed. Click the up arrow on that so you can kind of expand it. We've got installed, releases, snapshot, old beta, old alpha, yada, yada, yada. Um, you can look for all the different releases or whatever, but installed here, we have 1.8.9 and Optifine 1.8.9. I'm gonna run Optifine just so it runs better. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click play. It might have to download some stuff. Um, it'll take a second. Looking good so far. So here it is. You're in the little launcher. You can turn your phone sideways, which I normally do, but I'm not going to because that'll mess up the screen recording. Um, you got all the different options. You can click multiplayer. We have high pixel. This is this is Java. It's it's the real Java Minecraft. Um, click single player. I've got a little test world I have here. Click play selected world. And it will load everything in here. So it looks really weird with the 16 by uh yeah, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 9 by 16 aspect ratio of like a phone. Um, but if I was holding it in landscape mode, it would look a lot better. But yeah, this is it. You kind of got the different controls at the bottom. You got primary where you break blocks and the secondary where you like right click. Um, you got this little space bar button. Um, it'll look different depending on what phone you have. Uh, and just experiment with it until you find the right controls for you. But yeah, that's it. It's really, it's a little difficult, but it's really great. Now, there are some drawbacks I should mention. Um, basically, this will only work um, because you have to do the thing that says enable JIT. Uh, you're going to have to do that um, every time you want to open the app, which is really unfortunate, but that's just how it works on iPhone. So that means you're going to have to be connecting to the server, which is on your computer, um, whenever you want to open the app. So you're going to have to be on the same Wi-Fi network, your phone and the computer that's running the alt server, or you have to be in the same Wi-Fi network whenever you want to open something like Podjob Launcher, which is really unfortunate. Um, but yeah, so that's one drawback. Um, but another one, if you go here, my apps, whatever, you only get 10 app IDs if you don't have a paid developer account. I've currently used up all of mine and it takes a week to reset those, which is really unfortunate. Um, but it will reset every one, every week. Um, so if you actually install something and run out of, uh, app IDs, it's unfortunate, but you have to wait a week. There's no way to clear it. Unfortunately. So I think those are all the drawbacks I can think of. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and tell me what you thought in the comments below. Um, let me know if you want me to do some gameplay of um, Pojav on my iPhone 8. See you in the next video. Peace out.